I'm a nurse! Finally, right? My current resume now. Your formal interview for the registered nurse. Fuck yeah. I got my visitor's pass. I'm gonna stop filming here. <gasps> Hi. Oh. Hi. Oh, no. Good morning, guys. Oh, God. I'm sorry, spaghetti. Good morning to spaghetti. Guys, I'm a nurse. Finally, right? I'm a nurse. After all these months, after graduating nursing school, after failing the NCLEX, after beating academic probation, your boy is finally a nurse that's unemployed. <laughs> So that's the kind of theme for this week's vlog is finding a job. I can't be a nurse until I start nursing, you know what I mean? Not like baby nursing, you know, like nursing, nursing, like, yeah. <laughs> Been unemployed for a little too long. My savings is kind of running low, <laughs> especially in New York City. So first, um, let's get off this bed and start being productive. But also guys, like peep this new Maltese PJ set. It's actually so cute and I love going to bed in this. <laughs> and wake you up. I came to a little like bodega slash deli near my apartment and I love coming to these like little small hole in the wall places near my East Village just cause it's like, it's so cheap first of all. Like this soup was only like $5 with that bread. You know what, maybe I'm like trying to convince myself I'm saving money but I'm really not. But anyways, um, yeah I came here just to do some little work. I'm not studying anymore because <laughs> Those days are done. I passed that clex and I'm just overstudying. That I'm not here to do that. I am actually here to build my resume. I'm gonna finally apply to the hospital. And the last time I touched that resume was this time last year. So a lot of things have changed and I gotta spiff up my resume, you know? Make it look better. I'm gonna make some changes and hopefully start looking for a job and apply. <laughs> All right guys, so let's start our resume building. I put a mic on because I realized whenever I'm in public spaces, you guys can't hear me that well. So we got a mic on, we're moving up in technology. All right, so this is my current resume now. Yes, we are MS. I graduated from Columbia's hybrid program and it's, it's a unique program because I already graduated with an undergrad in a different degree. So now I got a master's of science into nursing. So that's why it's MS. Um, and then yes, I got my registered nurse license finally. Oh yes, Columbia University, New York, master's of science nursing, GPA 3.25. I'm pretty sure is not accurate as of the current moment. I remember I put this out last year and I did not graduate with this. Um, I'm not sure if this is like TMI for you guys, but you know, I'm an open book. I want to show you guys like the reality of my nursing journey. So there's only so much again I could show you of my transcript. This is very personal. So I'm going to blur out most of the things. We're just going to take a look at my cumulative GP. Oh, there we go. It was a 3.061, which it's not the greatest GPA I know, but I think the important thing is I graduated, I made the most of it, and I made it to the end. When I first started off the program, I definitely started out strong in my opinion, 3.404, which is solid. It's not like crazy up there, but after the first semester though, that's when it started going downhill. Like 2.9 is such a big drop off. Oh my God. I was never like the greatest at grasping nursing fundamentals and content. So my grades really did suffer that second semester. And then the third semester is when I got really close to like academic probation because by then I still couldn't like keep up and my GPA went out to 2.8. Yeah, I was really skinny on thin ice. I kept continuing study methods that wasn't working, but expecting a different result. And that was very foolish of me. I think that like, if something doesn't work and the results show it doesn't work, you gotta switch it up. You gotta adapt to the new situation. But that's one thing I didn't do. I realized after that 2.8 GPA, I was like, yo, like I can't, I can't graduate like this. So then I started like studying with more friends. I changed up like how I'm studying. I, it wasn't about studying more. It was just about studying effectively, right? Basically the moral is if something doesn't work out for you, don't keep slamming it and expecting the results to change because if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You just gotta try something else. So that's what happened. And then I went back up to three point something, 3.0. And yeah, I made it. <laughs> I finally graduated with that. And then we're gonna change that. It's definitely not a 3.25. And graduated 2023, yes, that's correct. And then here's my undergrad degree, Bachelor's of Health and Science. I got 3.4. And licenses, registered nurse, New York State of Board of Nursing. Yes, your boy finally passed. 
So, <laughs> look, I took December 2023. That's back when I was like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna pass the first time. But, you know, I, I failed. <laughs> so, it's definitely not December 2023. As officially, I got licensed. So, it is April 2024. Yeah, the boys and nerds. <laughs> Oh, BLS, like CPR certification. Yes, that expires. I retook it again this month, so that should expire in two years. So April 2026. Let's send this resume. Oh, there's electricity. All right, we came to this fresh eel specialty restaurant in Murray Hill, Flushing, Queens, and they also have raw marinated crab. And my girlfriend likes a lot, so we're really excited. It has like a homey, like, pocha vibes, which is like so cute. Oh, yo, oh my god. Oh my god, babe, eat it, eat it. All right guys, so this was my first time eating raw marinated crab and it was a combination of like cold, savory, but still like so tender for crab, which is really interesting. And then obviously my favorite hot soybean stew it was piping hot, I love it. And then obviously the eel, which is also really good, grilled for the first time, it was really, really good. All right guys, I am back home. It is the first of the month, you know, which means that I have my loan repayment day today. It's also April Fools. So I actually don't have any loan repayment. No, I'm just joking, I, I wish that was the case. <laughs> well, also rent went out the window, so I'm a little down right now, but <laughs> you know, still gotta pay these loans. You got the interest accrued, you know? Right now, I owe a total of $145,366.27. 27 cents dollars. Okay, fuck, I don't even know how to read this. Okay, it sounds so stupid, I bet. <laughs> I don't know why I can't read this. $145,366.27. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so a lot of this actually isn't even from my undergrad. It's all from nursing school, it's crazy. My undergrad, I really, I had a lot of scholarships and also I was in state in Missouri, so it was very cheap. It wasn't anything crazy, but nursing school was pretty hefty because also it was Columbia. It's a private university. And on top of that, I was out of state, but you know, it's worth it. I'm finally a nurse and hopefully I can pay it all back. <laughs> if you got, okay, so here's the thing with me. I'm so like bad at saving and I'm so bad at spending. Like I tell myself because I have this debt, I need to be so much more frugal. I need to be so much more wiser with my money and like do like, you know, save up with my retirement fund. Also do all the all Roth IRA. I don't even know what that stands for, honestly. I just know I'm supposed to be doing these things, but like I don't. <laughs> That's what's also what's like giving me anxiety because I'm supposed to look these things up and prepare for the future, but I'm also not doing that. But at the same time, I'm still spending recklessly because I still live in New York City. And even though I can control it, I still don't control it. You know, we're gonna be a nurse, we're gonna work through it, I'm gonna go to the nurse practitioner school, get my degree, get more of it then. <laughs> and then, but we're gonna, it's gonna pay out because I'm gonna be opening my med spa and hopefully eventually start my own skincare line. So pray for me, guys. So yeah, let's start paying. <laughs> I guess pretty much the message of this, the moral of my loan repayment is if you guys are also in a lot of debt on a lot of loans, you are not alone. Like, trust me, like, I am with you. I am in that same boat. But what I just tell myself is as long as you can see the deadline, as long as the end date is there, just push through it, work hard, make that money, keep paying, you'll, you'll hit it eventually. And we can't get discouraged because at the end of the day, like it will be paid, like it will be done, but it is daunting as fuck like i get it like if it's very overwhelming to feel like the weight of this like money that you owe to somebody especially the government right just hanging above your head for the next however long so i get it it's 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 a little it's a little depressing but you know i guess what can i do you know just keep grinding so you guys aren't alone fight on all right good morning guys it is another not so good day in new york actually it's kind of gloomy you know when you just have like such an amazing night routine the night before and you get that one rare good sleep you've gotten in like forever. <laughs> I just had that, so you know what? This weather isn't like, gonna bring me down. The only thing now is I need some caffeine. Coffee will re-enter my life as a big, big, big component <laughs> again. I'm gonna slowly trickle my way back in, so we're gonna get some caffeine. <laughs> we're on our way to a cafe. I'm gonna check my emails to see if I got any, you know, emails back from any of the places I applied to. So, fingers crossed. Alright guys, I came to Maman. It's actually really cute here. It's 
a little busy, but it's not crazy loud, which is the best thing. And I got me a honey lavender latte. Usually when I drink coffee, I drink in the morning so like I can shit like right after. But it's mid-afternoon now and I'm far from home, so let's just hope I don't improve. <laughs> you know I could never go without. Right. We're gonna check my email to see if I get any if I got any like replies back from my applications. Fingers crossed. Alright, so we're gonna open up my email. Oh yes sir. Alright, we got an email back. Hi, we have some exciting news. The email is to confirm your formal interview for the registered nurse, med surge, tele, full-time nights. Fuck yeah. Oh my god, okay, I don't have the job yet. I just got, I got an interview, but this is crazy. Like, I applied for day position and also night position, but maybe because I'm like a straight out of new grad nurse, like, they don't want me full-time days. I guess can't be choosers. Okay, this is good. This is good news, actually. Okay, so I'll be working 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. No, I'll come for work. Wow. I'm not even like a night person like that, so I don't know how I'm gonna... I don't know guys. I don't know. I'm kind of scared now. Like full-time nights. That means my entire sleep schedule will be like so fucked. Because as soon as I come back from work, it'll be like what 8 a.m. And now I'm gonna take what seven hours to sleep. And realistically, I probably won't go to bed till like 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. And then I wake up and it's like 4 p.m. or something like that. 5 p.m. Oh man, that's just like half the day's gone. For any of you guys that worked night shifts, please, I need you guys to do it. Like give me some tips. What do I wear? <laughs> Do I wear scrubs or like, like business casual? Like what the fuck? Oh my God, wait. Reason why I chose med surge over like peds, labor and delivery or like anything else pretty much is because like I want to do cosmetic dermatology, nurse practicing. I just want to get the most like baseline nursing assessment skills down before I go out into like an outpatient clinic and like start working, I guess for like med spas or like dermatologists. So it's the best way to get like that foundational skill that I need to get just to be a functioning nurse. But that's that's a little further down the road. But for now, med surge is I think what's best. Let me just respond to the questionnaire and set up the confirmation with them. Came to look at kitties. Plus I want to give like a friend for spaghetti. Give her like a little daughter slash sister. So I can look at kids today. Hi. Oh my god, you're so cute. Hey, you're so cuddly. <gasps> oh my god, look at those eyes. You're so cute. She's purring. She's purring. Oh my god. I want her so. Oh my god, I think you'd be such a great little sister for spaghetti. She's so cute. Guys, that Siamese kitty was like the fucking cutest thing ever. The blue eyes, oh my god. I want to give spaghetti like a little sister slash a little daughter. But yeah, definitely adoption center is probably the move. Anyways, I am starving and I think there's a bodega slash deli nearby so I'm gonna go to bed. Literally the best part of New York City is that you go to a deli and bodega and you can make any kind of combo you want and it's so cheap. It's uh, an omelette with tomatoes, feta cheese, corn, and onions, mustard, and ketchup. This is heavy. We're gonna wash this off with my favorite apple juice, Martinelli's. <sighs> Best apple juice in the world. All right guys, came back home, got more scrubs in the mail from Fabletics. In celebration of finally getting an interview, I am actually really excited. So I'm gonna <laughs> play pretend as a nurse right now. And we're gonna talk about different situations where I would wear each of these different scrubs. And it might be kind of fun, but 
I think since I'm not nurses, the best thing I can do is to play pretend, so let's do it. All right, so for our first scenario, we're gonna do peak rush hour medication time in the morning. So for this, I'm gonna wear my navy blue scrubs with the navy blue jacket that comes with it. And for this, we wanna be really flexible and have lots of range of motion since, you know, I'm gonna be running around. I don't want any kind of resistance on my movement. And that's why these scrubs are perfect because of its four-way stretch and lightweightness. And our next scenario is documenting. And I'll be wearing my hunter green scrubs right here so i'm gonna be sitting for a long time and i want to be comfortable in this situation and so again the athletic scrubs come to the rescue it's so breathable it's so comfortable it's so lightweight to the point that it doesn't even feel like you're wearing scrubs like it just feels like a really comfortable fabric and it's amazing and now by the end of the shift i'll probably be sweaty and smelly so i want to make sure these scrubs handle odor and that's the best part fabletic scrubs are odor control and also antimicrobial so what are you doing guys these are all the reasons why fabletic scrubs are amazing so make sure you check out the link in my bio because it will change the way see scrubs forever. To counteract this rainy day, I came with my girlfriend to Queens and Flushing. There's a lot of Korean food here. And when it's rainy, guys, you know me by now, like I need stews, like party ass like food. So what better way than food that reminds me of my culture? When it's raining, I get a little bit sad and I start missing my like mom's food. So it's the best time to get this. This is how you gauge the quality of a Korean restaurant is through the pan panchan or the side dishes. I like when there's ever like a variety and not just like one or two here and there, but also the kimchi. You can tell by the kimchi. So this is called a bibimbap here. Basically it's a bunch of assorted veggies mixed together with raw beef and egg yolk as well as rice and you mix it up and it's so good. It reminds me of literally home and also beef rib stew. Meat was so fall apart tender guys. Like it was amazing, perfect for the weather. Got my pimple cream on. <laughs> and tonight's the final night before the interview tomorrow. I'm like nervous, but like also confident. Confident in the fact that I know like I'll do well as in terms of like present myself well, but I'm nervous because when I'm put on the spot, like I'm not the best at like speaking my thoughts in a make sensible manner, if that makes sense. Like when I'm nervous, I typically just, I go off tangent a lot and I, like can't stay on the topic I'm supposed to stay on. So that's what I'm nervous about. It's more like the public speaking aspect. So right now I'm just looking up like typical, like common potential new grad nursing interview questions on Google to see if maybe like I could kind of like prepare for it. I'm, like, I'm on the University of San Francisco page and sample nursing interview questions. One of them is why did I choose nursing? And mind you guys, the position I'm interviewing for is for med search tele department and I chose nursing because I want to have, I want to be in a position in healthcare where I have the most interpersonal relationship with the patient. Because especially as a bedside nurse, you are, the RN is the person that's handing out all the medications, taking care of the patient, making sure the patient's like fed, like pretty much just taken care of in every aspect. And I know the physicians are also there, but they're kind of more just in and out and they're not in it. Like they're not in it with in a deep, with the patient as much as the nurses. So for that reason, I wanna be in nursing and especially also when I go up to the like provider role as a nurse practitioner, I wanna have those like interpersonal skills to be able to relate with my patient, you know? Um, that emotional connection, not just like the physical medicinal relationship. Yeah, I think that's why nursing is key for my life. Like I want to be in that like close, having close relationship with my patients in that sense. There we go, that's the answer I was looking for. It's, it's like broad enough, but also like specific enough, but also like pertinent enough to the department I'm applying for. Yay. All right, guys, we're gonna figure out what I'm gonna wear tomorrow so I don't fucking be late and miss my interview. <laughs> Wanna stay pretty basic. So I'm just gonna go with this brown, like long sleeve shirt, 12, 1 p.m. And then maybe just like a long black slacks, which, it's crazy what I'm dealing with right now. Look at, this is the state of my clothes. Damn, spaghetti. You kinda ripped up my skin. All right, I should probably steam this so it's straight and I don't look like a little guy who doesn't care about himself and how he presents himself. 
Good morning, guys. It's interview day. It's at one o'clock, but it's like 11.53 right now. And it takes 25 minutes to get there. And I'm still not dressed yet. And I still want to eat my Lucky Charms to be lucky <laughs> for this interview. So um, I should probably get ready now. All right, guys, so this is what we're working with. Black slacks, brown long sleeve, black vest, and then like I'll put like a puffer over it. Nothing fancy, something like too casual. I think it's like right perfect. Cannot start the day without this. Especially on a day like today, where I need all my luck. Total four. Then finish in the next five minutes, and then run over to the train station. Everything goes right, we should get there by like 12, 35, 12, 40. And then I look good because I'm early, and everything works out. Alright guys, like, I'm on my way now, but low-key, like, I'm getting more and more nervous the closer I get and... Okay, I just gotta be free. I don't need to like recite any lines, no memorization, like speak from the heart, you know? Like if I'm truly passionate about it, I could, I should be able to spit it out like I really mean it. But also like, I might be stuttering here and there and I'm, I might trip up a lot. I just, okay, what, I'm, what I wanna make sure doesn't happen is that I don't make sense. <laughs> I just want to say things that make sense because when I get nervous, I don't make sense. Like I start going off on tangents. Like I just, my words don't like seem to connect right. And like, it just doesn't, it's embarrassing. I don't want that to happen. It also doesn't help that I'm in a rush. So like my anxiety is even worse. <laughs> so, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. I got my visitor's pass and I'm gonna stop filming here. Okay, actually, I just sat in the lobby for a sec. I just need to get a breather before I go in. Holy shit, guys, I gotta take a shit so bad. This literally happens whenever I'm nervous. <laughs> oh. Maybe this is butterflies, I don't know. I think it went as solid as it could possibly go. So I did stutter a couple times and I, there was a moment where I just, I said something to him and it just did not make sense. I think he asked me like, what, what do I think my greatest weakness or like my strengths are? And I knew what my weakness was, but I didn't want to sound cocky and talk about my strengths. So I just kept going hard at my weaknesses. <laughs> and then when it finally came to my strengths, I was just like, you know what? I don't think I'm good at anything. <laughs> The stupidest thing to say after like looking back on it and um, I don't know, I can't do anything about it now, like it's over. Good thing is though, I was super enthusiastic, I was super passionate, I was smiling a lot the whole way through, so whatever guys. Um, best thing I could do now is just hope and pray. <laughs> I think he said he'll call me next week if I got the job or not, so fingers crossed. Alright guys, so now it's a little bit of a surprise, but we're going on a trip to retrieve something or some being that's very adorable. <laughs> Me. Yeah. What could it be other than you, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I can't wait to show you guys the same. Oh, okay, let's just get there and I'll show you. Babe, why is, who are you gonna, who are you gonna like more than me? Nothing. Like her more than me. Okay, you're, you're, now everyone's wondering who could it be? Is it another girl? It is another girl. Oh my god! Oh. Hello! This is crazy! She smells good. Oh my god, wait. Okay. Guys, this is what I was talking about. She's a little Scottish straight. Scottish straight. She looks like like an AI. Like, does she look even real? Yeah. Like, look at the blue eyes. Oh my, oh my god, I'm so sorry. You're so cute. What's her name? Nepetrolite. <laughs> Red name of Nepetrolite. Wait, this is like not even real. Look at her eyes. <laughs> Hello, Megatron. Hi, Megatron. Megatron. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hello. 
Can you show your pretty eyes? She's not scared anymore. Can you show your pretty eyes? <gasps> wow. You have such blue eyes. She's only pretending to be scared. <laughs> She's very adventurous. Oh. <laughs> Why is she screaming? Right off the bat, she's very adventurous, very playful, not really shy or scared at all. She's not camera shy. No, she's an influencer. Hey. She, she stole my phone before. Hey. <gasps> Hi. Oh. Hi. Oh. Look, she's so stimulated. All right, I'm back home now with Megatron with the face full of pimple cream. <laughs> but um, yes, this week was pretty packed and everything else that went with it. We're just gonna wait for here back. Hopefully we got the job, so pray for me guys. And my Korea trip is tomorrow. So as soon as you see this video, I'll probably be there with my family. So wish me luck with the things that are happening there. I'll go more into details later, but Say goodnight to Megatron. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video.